My letters are my most secret possessions. There are three total. Peter from 7th grade, Lucas from homecoming and Josh. I'm so tired of songs, tired of songs, tired of songs, tired of just wanna go home, wanna go home, wanna go home. Oh, so tired of songs, tired of songs, tired of I write a letter when I have a crush so intense, I don't know what else to do. Rereading my letters reminds me of how powerful my emotions can be, how all-consuming. And Megan would think I'm dramatic, but a little drama is fun. Ouch! Ooh, what's that? Oh, nothing. Okay then, but aren't you going to school? Uh, yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Okay. Stop the beat and go. Excuse you. Oh my god, Jen. I'm so sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, it's you. Jen, Genevieve. We used to be best friends. Nice shirt, huh? Oh, they are vintage. I got them on Etsy. And they are amazing. Not everyone can rock them off. Lara G, you rock them. Not like you. I think you wear the same shirt twice a week. You know what, Chrissy? Screw you. I love this shirt. Shut up. Hey baby, how you doing? Good. I was just complimenting Letter Jean on her shirt. Oh, I see someone else wants to say hi to Bye. What? She's not been camping from Sunday, you know? She's been. Are you sure? Because to me, she just looks pretty much chemically imbalanced. Yeah, right. <sighs> Christine, do you really think my shirt looks cool? Seriously, Letter Jean, you just ruined the vibe. But it's okay though, I'm not going to let Jen talk trash about you. So let's just go. I was wearing my helmet. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Um, good. Yeah. So people usually check their bag before you go. So it's a thing we do. Yeah, but I'm just not completely comfortable using my braces. So we can go to business. Yeah, really. But let me say, doesn't. Uh, hey, you in charge. Okay. Who was that? Peter. Peter Kavinsky. Okay. Then, what are we waiting for? For the rest of the class to leave. Oh my god. Five. $405 and Libby. Four ten. $410. There are the four bids. The actual retail price is... You know, Lara Jean, if you had a boyfriend, you wouldn't have to drive us around. He can take his places. If that's what it takes, I guess you'll start with me forever. I don't know. What about the guy you almost killed the other day? He's dead in jail. So? Don't you think it's kind of depressing that it's Saturday night and you're here watching a drama with your little sister? No, not at all. I love the drama and I love hanging out with you. <laughs> okay, Lara Jean. I'm not telling you this to make you feel bad or anything, but Lara, I'm younger than you and I had to cancel all my plans to be here with you tonight. You're way older than me. Don't you have plans? Even on weekends? That is way harsh, Kitty. The truth hurts, Lara G. A few inches later.
like a little piggy, you know. I'm going. Uh, I need to talk to Angie now. Uh, all right. Okay. Yada yada. Bye. From um, look, I just wanted to say that I'm on it, and I really wish it, but it's never really gonna happen. So you what? Um, from what I remember, the event was fun. I think it's really cool. I think I have golden specks in my eyes. It's just Jen and I are in a weird place, and I don't know what I'm trying to accomplish. Dead or even? Why are you home so early? I really need to know where the box is. It's really important. I don't know. Maybe it went out with the other boxes. The goodwill boxes? No! I hate everyone. Hey, Megan, what's wrong with her? I think Mundi. Mundi? Mr. Chick's box sucks. Nothing to do with the moon. <coughs> hey, Kobe. What are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm here just to take down one of those new chicks. Oh yeah, cool. Actually, I stopped in your house just now and your sister said you'd probably be here. Okay. Look, I just want to be super clear, okay? I'm flattered, uh, I am, but Jen and I just woke up, so... Are you trying to reject me now? Um, well, yeah, maybe. You don't care when I'm not trying to date you. Oh, okay. Your mouth is saying something, but your mouth also says something completely different. What? Okay, so here's the thing. I don't actually like you. I just like to make it look like I like you so that someone else wouldn't think that I like them. Oh, okay. Okay, who? What? Who? You gotta tell me who's the mystery, mystery guy is. No! Otherwise, I'm gonna go on believing you that you have crush on me. Okay, okay. It's Josh, Josh Anderson, your well, best friend. Josh Anderson? Yeah. He's my best friend in Boston. So, since he also received a love letter, so, can't you see how hard and complicated oh, it is hold on, stop. for him? I'm not the only guy that got a letter. Yeah, so don't feel so special, Peter Kaminsky. Damn, Zavi, you're a player. So, are we good? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, we go. Hey, let me see. I will drop you one, okay? Thanks for driving me home and sorry for the whole letter thing. Couldn't be worse, right? So what are you going to say to Josh? I guess I have to tell him the truth. What is the truth? Do you like him? Do you not like him? It's not your problem, Peter Kavinsky. Oh. Hey, Lara Jean. What if you didn't tell him? What? What if we let people think that we were actually together, just fall in love? Why would you want that? Uh, because it's for Jen. She found a new guy in a very short period of time. And I need to find one too. Just to show her that I can do the same thing. And men are not fresh. So you're going to use me as a pawn? Oh, no, no, no. I want to make sure Jen jealous. And I want to help you to stop just from thinking about you like him. Hmm. Um, Lara Jean, you don't, ha you don't have to give me the answer now, okay? Yep. Just think about it. Don't hold your breath. No, no, I'm not gonna do this. Wait, maybe I will. got rules? Come on, does that have to find out our situation? That is non-negotiable. Oh, okay. Uh, but we need to figure something out because people will get suspicious if I'm not allowed to do anything about you. Okay, you have a point. So, how about... Uh, uh, how about... No, no, no. Let's just do it naturally, please. Nope, nope. How about... Yeah. Um, let me see. 
how about we just make it as if it's real real relationship let's just do it because since you have crush on me no 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 <laughs> okay fine um i think i'm gonna write write you notes every day you do that yeah 100 percent because jen want me to do that back then but i never did oh how romantic this Lara how oh my god spill the tea hey Christine chill it's just a contract relationship he broke up with Jen and I don't want Josh to think that I like him so we made a pact and he's just trying to make Jen jealous and I don't want Josh to think that I like him that's it okay oh so it's just a contract it's a contract relationship <laughs> yeah okay that's a relief to hear All right a relief why um uh, I'll speak to clues next. See ya. Oh yeah. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Lara Jean. Out of so many, why does it have to be Peter Kavinsky? It's okay, Peter. We'll be together one day. I love you a lot. Bye Peter. You're so handsome today. <laughs> I might lose my mind Waking when the sun's down Riding all these highs Waiting for the calm down Walk these streets with me I'm doing decently Just glad that I can breathe Yeah I'm trying to realize It's alright to not be fine on your own Now I'm shaking, drinking all this coffee These last few weeks have been exhausting I'm lost in my imagination And there's one thing that I need from you Oh no, hey, it's funny though how the world works, don't you think? But it start as a contract, but it's now genuine. Might be with you, might not be so bad. Rude, not so bad. Come on, Peter, just say it's awesome. Yeah, awesome indeed. But I say this once, okay? What is it? Uh, I love you, Lara. I love you, Lara. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. I love you too. Let's get into the future. Josh again? Who is he really looking at? And why is he always there? I guess I'll just text Josh about this and ask him. Christine! Oh my Hi. god, Lara, you don't have to do that! <sighs> Hi, and why? Uh, so we are like finally together, me and Peter. For real. For real? Yeah. Well, good for you, you have a boyfriend now, and it's Peter Kavinsky to do too. I know, right? Um, and we took selfies and everything. Look, this one was at the library, and then we were at the mall. We had a full movie night together, and then at the cafe. Wait, wait, can I take a look? Yeah, sure, here you go. Oh, 
Duty calls. Gotta go. Yeah, Let me just sure. see. Oh. Bye, Lara. Bye. I love you. Not. So Christine, what is this about? Oh come on Josh, chill. You like Clara, don't you? Shut up. I don't dislike her. I worship. Um, okay, I never knew you were a bit screwed up in the head, but Never mind, that's not the case. The key here is me, I like Peter, and you, you like Lara. Don't you think we make a good combination? Are you suggesting us to be in a relationship? If yes, then no. I reject. I swear to myself to serve for Lara and only Lara. Uh huh, okay, screw boy, but no. I'm suggesting for us to make plans to make them break up. Then I think you can help me. That doesn't sound so bad. What's the plan? That's the thing. I don't know. We are so in love with each other. Maybe if one of them went missing one day, just maybe, their relationship might falter. You wish, Christine, but the world doesn't work that way. Chris, I don't think I want to help you. Uh, I can handle things on my own. Well, good talk. But not have to. But let them. Huh? Josh! Hey! I think he might be dusting off somewhere and forgot to set Anna. No problem. It's fine. Okay, yeah. Just trust safe, okay? Okay, see you then. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. <sighs> He's not here yet. Are you kidding me, Peter Kavinsky? Hey! Josh! Well? Have you seen Peter? Peter? Yeah. Kavinsky. In uh, Lara. I know I'm his best friend, but that was the story of the past. Sorry, I don't know where he is. That's okay, Josh. See ya. Sure. Chris! Chris! Hey! Yeah? Have you seen Peter? Peter? Why are you asking me? If anything, I should be the one asking you where he is. Because, you know, he got my book and I really need it back. So, where is he though? I don't know. Uh, he was supposed to pick me up this morning and I called him so many times and he's not answering my calls. I don't know where is he I'm oh. kind of worried. Okay, that's weird. 
but maybe he's just sleeping at home, you know. Chill out, I, I, I think he's just there. But if you get to him though, please tell him that I really need my book back. Okay? Okay. Um, I have to go to the cafe now, so okay. Yeah, bye. Please. Where on earth are you, Peter? Police report for now because you could just let me find the evidences or hints because it could be trivial. So I guess you can count on me. You don't have to worry about it. Thank you, ma'am. I owe you a lot. Yeah. Um, please, please find him. Surely I will find him. Um, I guess I have to go now because I have other cases to investigate. So see you later. Um, but you I don't have to worry again because the chemist case has also called me and told me about the case. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. Josh? Josh? Hey, Christine. <laughs> 
Josh, don't do this to me. This is not funny. What, what present do you want to show me? This is your present. Ta-da! <laughs> Aren't you happy? I made this for you. No! No, this is not right. What are you doing? Hey, hey, don't freak out. Dude. No, no. This is crazy. Josh Anderson, you're crazy. I'm out of this. I'm not in this bed. I don't know anything about this. I'm out! Hey, hey, Now, uh, I gave her the number to Peter's parents and personally met her just now. So, thanks. By the way, can we meet tonight? Because I need someone to help me with the groceries since Dad and Megan are out. I'm sorry, Lara. I'm so sorry. Okay, you can just say no. I don't have to be dramatic. Bye. in every picture of me and Peter. Wait, why is he looking at Peter like that? I should tell Detective Mary about this. She's not picking it up. Maybe I should go to the police station. When was the last time I've been here? Oh yeah, since Dad's been transferred into the new building. Here we go again, meeting Charles. Used to be my dad's friend in the police department. Peter is dead. 
He's at the best man. I'm really sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You are, you now are acting so weird. I feel that I need to take you to the station. No. Come with me. Let's go. No. Let's go. Look now, Mary. I need you to tell us what is actually happened to Peter. Fine. I guess I have to tell you anyway, right? So actually, Peter, he has a crush on Laura, and he kind of freaked out when he found out that Laura and Peter are dating. He would go crazy and I thought it was nothing because I thought he would move on and find another girl. But that didn't happen, right? Yes. He started obsessing over Lara even more. And then it it was getting worse. He would take pictures of Lara, he would cut the pictures out of the magazine and then he would paste all the pictures on the wall of our basement. How did you know that? I don't know, Charles. I... I just had a hunch that something was odd. So I went following him and I found out what really happened. So, the next night, I went following Josh to the building which was his favourite place to hang out alone. And I saw Christy went inside the building, so I felt weird about it. And I went inside the building as well. And I saw Christine running out from a room. She was... I was shocked. I was terribly shocked because I saw Peter was not unconscious and he was like tied to the chair and Josh he was like he kept saying stuff like Lara is mine over and over again and he laughed like a crazy person. So I was shocked and I had to hide the body and in order for me to prevent my son from getting into the jail I had to pretend as I was working on the case where Peter went missing I acted like I was investigating the case but actually I didn't and I avoided Lara's call until the day you came to my house. Josh? Josh Anderson? No, never. 
That kid is real. I don't want him to have anything to do with you. Hey Josh, do you want to know something? Yeah, I mean, I had a dinner at Lara's house. You want to know something? There's someone as a barrier between you and Lara. <laughs> Who? It's her dad. <laughs> Maybe you should get rid of him too. <laughs> Just joking. Yeah, see you tomorrow, Josh. Same face. couple you've ever seen. Imagine how happy everyone when we are together. Josh! Turn your head! No! Josh! It's been two months. Two months after the incident. I've lost a lot of people just because of one stupid letter. Josh is currently in the asylum. He was tested as positive with schizo. Apparently, his mother didn't know about this and never knew it was getting worse over time. Peter, my one true love, Dad, my forever knight in shining armor, are dead. And Chris, my only true friend, I hope I can see her one last time. All because of Josh, and he did that because all he wanted was me. So this is all because of me. forgive me so this is my redemption for the biggest sin I've committed. I'll see you guys soon. Peter Dad.